This is not a mukbang video, but these oranges are extremely tasty. So make sure to eat your fruits. This video is to answer a specific question that somebody had left in one of the surveys or um, that I have in the email sequence when you download the paperful free effects. Okay, so this was the message by the subscriber. The installation was super easy. I love how you can double click, but what do I do with the paper, with the file after? Put it somewhere safe? Well, the DRFX files, you don't have to actually do anything. You can leave it there on your computer. If you erase it, then it doesn't really matter because the DRFX is basically copied directly into the DRFX files folder path when you install this in DaVinci Resolve. So you basically have a copy of it in your DaVinci Resolve DRFX files folder path. So if you lose that one, not a big deal. And you can also just go back to your dashboard in Fortwell or Lemon Squeezy and just re-download it from there. Now, also the tracking is still a little bit confusing to use. Not easy if you don't watch the tutorial and still not that easy after watching it. Okay, now the effect, once you drag and drop this into your element, should look something like this. As you can see, the element itself is not really moving that much. It doesn't have that much interaction with the paper. Now, if you don't want the paper to show up like these, what you can actually do is turn on, turn off the paper view control or uncheck it. And then the paper itself will only affect the element that we have right here. So it basically grabs the element, uses it as a mask. So only whatever that element occupies is affected or shown with the paper effect or the animation. Now, in this case, after you are happy with where you want this to be, you can modify all those things in here. You want to make this smaller, use the overall size instead of the media, unless you want to adjust these before tracking. After that is done, you can press go here. And to go into the technical aspect of this, this uses a planner tracker. So let me show you Infusion for a second. This is a planner tracker. And in the planner tracker, I set at the reference time to 22. So when you press go, it goes to frame 22 and it uses that point as a starting tracking point. Now, sometimes if you make the animation last a lot longer, you might want to come into the fusion effect if your element looks a little bit distorted when you're doing that, and then just set this up to be at a later stage maybe. So let's say you wanted your, your animation to be 40 seconds long for some reason. So if you were changing that to 40 in this case, then the, then the animation will take 40 seconds to happen. But if you just tracked from the frame 22 backwards, you will still have half of it, the animation not tracked basically. But you can still just, instead, if you don't wanna change the frame set to the end, you can still just press go and track this forward, which is the other thing that I, that I was gonna tell you. So we have the track backwards and track forward. So basically, the back tracking backwards is only for the intro. And if you want to also have the outro, have that animation, you can set these to be tracking forward. Now you don't have to go through the, the process of changing this frame set, but if you wanted to only track the intro and you want this to, and you wanted this to be longer, you can go to frame 40. Let's say when it's ready, press set. And now when you press go, it will go to frame 40 and you've, and if you track backwards from here, it will track backwards from that frame 40. Now you just have to let it render for a little bit. Now, what ends up happening always with the planner tracker is that sometimes it just wants to get distorted like here in this case. If you don't like this weird thing that happens right here, what you can do is open the tracker in Fusion and you can open the spline tool and then just find the tracker right here, planner tracker, fit to screen, and you can de delete those points that you don't like, which are the ones that are making it look weird like that. So maybe up until this point, I think if we delete that, then we it will not look like that. We don't have that weird artifact that's showing at the beginning. Now we have that. That's all those green points that you can see on the screen are the tracking data points that is taking, uh, that the planner tracker is generating, right? So we have that set up. If we go to the edit page, now we have this element that 
interact a little bit more with the paper and it sort of becomes a little bit more like one with the paper because the whole goal of this was to have the paper effect be a little bit more realistic than just a normal slap and drop overlay paper effect. Now, if we were to have that outro animation right here, we can see we don't have the tracking happening again. So that's why we have the go button right here. And after we have set the duration of these to whatever duration we want this to be, you can press track forwards again. Okay, so after it was tracked to the end, if we press play, then we can see that our element has that little interaction again. And if you have that artifact again, you can follow the same process of opening the fitting fusion, going to the planner tracker, and then just using this plan tool right here and delete those last points that are causing this weird artifact. Those two right there. All right, so that is basically how the media tracker works. If you decide that you don't want to have the effect tracked, you can press the X and that will delete all the tracking data points and it will look as if you were not tracked or as if it was at the beginning before we added any tracking points. That is how the media tracker works in the paper full effects. If you don't have the paper full effects yet, make sure to go and click some of the links in the description, download the free one first if you want. And if you already want the pro version, then I'm going to link that in the description as well so that you can enjoy all the benefits of having this super cool toolkit at the tip of your fingers. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Kieran Sock. Bye.